My name is Karim Kamel Zahir and I'm going to be showcasing my photo manager app that I have created using Flutter for my internship with Unique Interns. Here is my initial homepage for the app where it loads all your recent photos, so all the photos you have on your phone. And it shows them in a grid format where you can scroll through them and check them out. You can also press on individual photos to zoom in and see the details that you have in each photo. So if you're selecting photos to delete, you can know exactly what you're deleting. You can also press on the drop down menu on the top left where you can see all the albums that you have. And if I go to a specific album, it would then load the images in this album. I can also take pictures using the floating button on the top in the bottom right. So if I press on it, I could take a picture of my keyboard like this. Make sure this is the photo I want and press OK. And then it's going to refresh my page, open back my recents. And instead of waiting because I have a lot of pictures, I'm just going to go to the album which is saved, which is pictures. As you can see, here they are. Now I can select the pictures that I want to. And on, as you can see, an, an, an icon appeared at the top right to delete. And if I press on it, I could just allow and allow. And as you can see, the photos will be deleted. So I could go back to the pictures and they are deleted. And basically every time I go to any different album, it would refresh. Yeah, here it goes. And yeah, that's uh, my app. Hi, now I'm going to be showcasing the code behind the uh, photo uh, manager application. Uh, as I said, I used Flutter for this app and uh, I'm going to be starting with showing you the, the main dot dot file, which is basically the starting point for the application where it has the void, the main function where it runs my app. And if you go to my app over here, you would see that it opens the media picker page uh, with the while defining the maximum count and the quest type. The maximum count is the maximum count of items that you can select. The quest type is just the request, uh, the type of, of, of uh, file that we're requesting from the device. Now, if I go to the media picker page, I am going to explain it from the top. Uh, starting with is the, it, I use a staple widget so it can be always updated when I update the state. I also uh, made it uh, to store the max account the request type, which are the ones that I passed previously in the main dot dot. And here I define that for that the page would have the selected album. If I select a specific album, the uh, album list, which has the list of all the albums, the asset list, which has the list of all the assets in an album. Uh, and the selected asset list, which holds the assets that I have selected by pressing on them, which uh, with the media picker page is basically the page over here on the left showcasing all my images. And uh, the second is I have a function to request permission, which checks the status for the permission. And if it's all good, then nothing with the application proceeds. If not, it would request first the permission from the user. And, and I use this fu uh, this uh, function in the init in state which initializes this widget or this page. And then I load the albums using the media service, which I'm going to be going over in a second. And then I have a function for opening the camera, which basically uh, use the image picker package to uh, take an image using the camera and then return the X file. And then I use this X file in order to store it using the image gallery saver, which saves it back to my gallery. I also have, uh, I also, after this, I set the state where I empty the asset list and then reload, uh, reload both the albums and the assets in order to refresh the whole page. And I also have a delete select assets 
function which basically uh, deletes all the uh, selected items which I could select like over here which I will be calling when I press on the delete function or the, on the delete icon on the top right when I have items selected and after the as it, the photo manager package has deleted those uh, IDs I will again clear the asset list and the selected asset list and the asset list and work on loading the the or like loading the albums and assets again in order to refresh. Here is the build itself for the um, application, which basically loads the main page. At first, I have the floating action button here on the bottom right, which I uh, with with its uh, with the colors that I tuned, the elevation and shape and the icon that I chose and. When it's pressed, I run the open camera, which takes the picture and saves it, as I stated before. And here is the definition for the app bar, which is the bar at the top, which uh, I have, as you can see, the drop down menu, which I can show here. And uh, we, in this drop down menu, basically, I load the assets and, uh, and the asset lists, as you can see in order to get the names of, uh, and like load the names of the albums. And then for each item, as you can see here, I get the future asset count, which is the number or uh, like the number of images in each um, album. And if it's loaded, then uh, and I'm just going to display the album name and snapshot data. If it's still loading, then uh, it's going to be a circular progress, progress indicator. Moving on, as a, again, in the top of the page, if I have items selected, like in this screenshot over here, then it will show me the delete icon, which will run the delete selected assets. And here is the body, which basically is the uh, actual grid layout. If there's no assets to load, it would just gonna be a circular progression. If there are assets and it has indeed loaded assets, then it would make a grid view builder, which is going to build this grid and use the asset widget as the images, which I'm going to be showing in one second. And if I, and I, this is going to be wrapped in a gesture detector. So if I press on any image, it's going to redirect me to the picture page, which I'm going to show in a sec. Now for the asset widgets with the actual uh, one like image, uh widget uh i have it so these are mostly the controls but basically it has or the um customizations that i have for it but basically the main thing is that it it shows the image as you can see here and using the asset entity image provider to get to use the asset entity in order to show the image and i also have the so uh, the select asset function which I made it as a gesture detector in this circle that you see beside each picture. So this, if you press on it, it counts and it adds you to this using the select. It adds this asset to the selected asset um, list, which I'm going to be showing this function uh, down below. And basically, these are just the rest of the customization. If it is selected, it was going to uh, be blue and it's going to show the number of uh, or the index uh of the selected item plus one so it's, it's so it shows up like this so it's one two etc in the picture that i show on the left now for selecting the assets basically if i press on it and if the it checks if the entity is already in the asset list if so it would just remove it and if not it would add it and if i reach the maximum number of selected items I will instead um, uh, like uh, show a small message at the bottom of the screen saying that this is the maximum number of selections that have been reached and it will stay there for two seconds. Now for the picture page, which renders when I press on any page as shown in this uh, example on the left, it basically is just uh, a, a page with the app bar for picture and a back button to go back to the uh, provider uh, to the actual media picker and it also uh, loads in the image asset uh, with the, the size in order to 
image take the screen in so you can see the details of each image when you press on it. Finally, I have also the media service. Which basically uh, is used to to define the functions for loading the albums and loading the assets. And then this returns the uh, corresponding album list or the corresponding asset list, which are then used to render all the photos and all the information. And one more note to add is due to uh, this application needing permissions, you would also need to go and add such uh, the required um, <clears throat> the required uh, permission uh, statements in the app source and then source and then you will find the um one second source main and then the android manifest over here which you're just gonna need to add the required android permissions so they are requested as well as using the request functions that I've shown before. And that's basically the code for my application. If you have any questions, feel free to check out the code in the description. I'm going to be having the GitHub repo there. And uh, if there, if you have faced any problems, you're going to find my contact info there as well. If you want to email me and ask any questions or tell me about any improvements that you would like me to do for this application or any suggestions that you have. And uh, thank you so much.